so now that we have completed uh, step number five the next task is to do step number six okay so let us go to our instructions file and then try to read what they want from us okay in this case it says in the third slide use smart graphic icon to insert a vertical box list then add the following technologies in the list okay so we need to use what a vertical box list so we go back to our document uh, remember they said we need to do that on the third slide okay so to add a a smart add what we are supposed to do is to click on insert okay and then we we go to o smart art okay so it if you hover over this it tells you that insert a smart art graphic that's exactly what we are looking for and then we go to lists okay after going to lists remember they told you that you need to use a vertical box list so if you're not sure what you're looking for just hover your mouse over these icons here and read what it says uh, these icons are okay and then voila this is the vertical box list then you click on it then you press uh, you click on ok after doing that you'll see it gives you uh, three uh, items or a, a list of three items where you can uh, edit your text okay you can edit your text by typing here or by typing here so I'd advise you to type here okay so let's go back to our instructions file and then select the text okay it says the text must be like this number one it must be geographic information systems uh, for some of us who have done GIS we know what GIS is okay so let's go back to our working document and I'm just gonna paste it here as text okay uh, you'll notice that it actually adds the one here even though when I was selecting the text uh, from the instructions file uh, the one was not highlighted another thing that you must do you must delete this tab here just delete the tab and leave it like this okay uh, after doing that go back to your uh, instructions file highlight biometrics copy the text highlight it okay and then copy the text go back to your to your working document just paste as text okay then delete the tab okay and then you continue doing the same thing you go to no we're not gonna do that we click here go to uh, the third one uh, it says e-billing platforms if I, yeah if I'm not mistaken I guess I'm not and then you type and then you paste it here then you delete the the tab again after doing this you'll notice that uh, in this case we only have three items but we need to add a new one so you will right you will right click on the last one to highlight it and then you left click to get options the options that the option that we're looking for is add shape uh, it will ask you you need to whether you need to add the shape after or before we want to add the shape after the one that we have just highlighted okay then we have the fourth option okay so we go back to our working document or our instructions file select the text copy the text and then we take it back to our working file we paste it as usual then delete them 
uh, we delete the the tab at the beginning okay so if we go back to our document you see uh, the list here uh, all uh, the items were in just one line you can adjust your file here I don't think you'll be penalized as uh, there are several ways to do that you can simply reduce the size okay make it 22 for for instance let's just say 22 click on 22 okay then it's fine after turning this after changing this I mean to 22 you can uh, you can do the same for all of them not oh shit I don't wanna do that control Z to undo okay just select the text Gosh. Uh, what's happening the computer is tired okay let's change this one by one to 22 just type 22 click on 22 consistency is key but this one is out of place let me control Z control Z yeah until it, it gets back online okay so whenever you do something that you did not want to do mm, the short the shortcut that you can use is control Z to undo it okay so let me just highlight this change this to 22 okay and uh, now it's okay it's still in the correct position control A to select everything okay I don't normally like using shortcuts because some of you are not familiar with them okay and then control A and then 22 okay you see everything now is in one line so it appears exactly as in this uh, file here okay so we basically done with step number six and we are ready to move on to step number seven okay